All right, boys and girls. So a couple things I'm wanting to try here for a little bit is some different tire setups. So I got the 32 inch carnivores on the stock 15 inch wheels. They're considered a 32 10 inch wide with a 15 inch rim. Um, I love the tires. Their traction is incredible. Well, like I said, I've been wanting to try a couple different things. So take a walk over here. I got two of the new tires. I went with a 32 inch Tusk Terabyte on the MSA M12 diesel wheels, 15 inch still. These are still considered a 10 inch wide tire. Um, so I bought two different tire and rim setups from Pure Off Road. And so I'm gonna test these out. I'd like to actually do a couple other ones as well. Um, but it seemed like everybody's going either carnivores, terabytes, um, a couple other brands that I'll probably try and get my hands on as well. So this is what they look like anyway. I'm kind of interested in, so these are a four plus three rim. So it's gonna be about two inches wider overall, an inch wider per side, but if you look at how wide the carnivores look compared to the terabytes, just at first glance, and this thing is muddy, and I apologize for that, but um, we had it out at Buddy's house the other weekend and haven't cleaned it yet because it's so cold here. And they are these are dirty. The other ones are obviously brand new, but so they look a little wider. It's only about a half of an inch of difference on an actual tape measure, but the tread depth is a little deeper on the terabytes than on the carnivores. So this is what I'm thinking is I'm going to weigh them, measure them, put them up against each other as far as size wise. So here's the 32 10 by 15 terabyte on the diesel wheels. Here's the factory dirty 32 inch, not factory, but the factory rims with the 32 inch by 10 by 15 carnivores. And just for size comparison, and I want to put these on my dad's general and also on mine, do a couple different speed runs with it. These are a 29.5 by 9.5 by 15 Maxxis Carnivore on the same exact M12 diesel wheel. So I'm just interested in, you know, the different different weight that the 29.5 is. I mean, you can see the difference. They're sitting up against the wall a little different, but um, I'm just interested in how they react, how they drive, how they work in all different kinds of conditions. And then I want to try, like I said, on my dad's General Deluxe, and that comes with a 27-inch tire stock. So I'm going to put them on there and see how the 29.5s work. Essentially, you know, basically a 30-inch tire, but and then uh, throw the 32s on just for kicks and see how those work. And then also do some speed runs and my impressions on how the 29.5 stacks up against the 32s. Obviously the XP comes on 30s. They weren't quite 30 inches tall, but um, the carnivores are a whole lot lighter than the stock tires even. So I'm not sure what these rims weigh. I think it said like 54 pounds as far as shipping from FedEx on the 32s and like 45 on the 30s, 29.5s. So we're just gonna grab the bathroom scale, do the uh, super scientific way and then we'll mount up the other toss terabytes on here and see how it looks and see how it drives so if your wife's not home and you got to clean tires is it really a crime to do it in the bathtub i mean i promise i'll clean up after 32 in the tub rub a dub okay so first thing i did Put all three tires at 10 pounds, 10 PSI, just as a uh, 
whatever. So each one has the exact same pressure in it as far as height and ride and traction. And we'll start with 10 pounds and we'll see how they work. Um, I'm going to get some weights right now. We need to move this cat. Good boy, Hunter. And then we'll get some weights on these tires and we'll finish putting the other 32s on and take it for a ride, see how it works, see how it looks, see if it does indeed add the two inches that I suspect it should by the numbers, by mathematical numbers, and just start doing some testing. Okay, so first tire up on the scale is the 29 by 9515. Forty five point four. Get down, Hunter. Get down. Get down. So forty five point four. Okay. Now this one's gonna be slightly different because this is a thirty two inch carnivore, but it's on the stock XP wheel rim. So we'll see what this thing weighs. 52.6 so 45.4 for the 29 carnivore and 52.6 on a 32 inch carnivore on the XP rim now the terabyte on the MSA is it's 56 so about four pounds heavier per tire on the terabyte on the MSA rim versus the 32 on the stock XP wheel rim. So that's definitely our lightest alternative um, is the 29 inch, 29 by 950, 15. So let's get the terabytes bolted on the XP and see what it looks like. So just for uh, my own peace of mind, I'm going to weigh everything twice. So I'll roll the terabyte on the MSA, making sure that I'm not, so I'm getting 54 pounds this time around. Okay, that's why we do things twice. I got 56 last time. Here's the 32 inch carnivore on the XP rim. Fifty one point eight. Again, I'm not sure how scientific a uh, house scale is for measuring people, but you can go online, look at the actual weight of the tire, and but until it's actually on a rim, it's kind of hard to be a good judge of what it really is. This is the twenty nine inch carnivore, forty five point eight. So that one's been pretty much 45.6, 45.8 on the 29. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw these big ones on again, the 32s. Just for good measure. 54. So I'm gonna say 54 pounds. 32 inch carnivore on the factory XP wheel rim. I keep saying wheel. 55.2. So I'm getting between 54 and 55 on the terabytes. So they are slightly heavier, <clears throat> but not by much. So I got one more little uh, Easter egg too. So what are these, these rims? Come with this center cap. Um, not a giant fan of the chrome star. So I got these flat black stars to replace that. And like I said, I ordered two sets. I got one set of chrome lug nuts and I got one set of black lug nuts. So here's the 32 inch terabytes. 
with the black lug nuts and still the chrome star. I haven't changed the stars at all yet. See what people kind of think. And this one has the chrome lug nuts and the chrome star still. Here's what the tread pattern looks like. It's a good looking tire. Um, Pier Off Road mentioned, hey, you know, this is one of our better selling tires. I've seen on lots of the different forums that everybody seems to like them. I guess they're not great in deep mud, but obviously being more of an all-terrain tire, I would totally expect that. So we're gonna test them. We're gonna test them and everything. And obviously, like I said, we got the carnivores. These do have about 900 miles on them, but they are realistically hardly any different, if at all different, than the brand new carnivores over here in the corner. They're wearing really well. I'll measure that actually and give you an idea where exactly they're at. But let's let's get these terabytes put on. We'll decide if we're gonna go black star, chrome star, um, or black lug nuts or chrome lug nuts. I'm personally leaning towards all black lug nuts and the black star. It's just kind of what looks the best to me, I guess, at this point. You guys let me know what you think. Chrome lug nuts or black lug nuts, chrome star or flat black star in the center. Pretty nice looking rim. Pier Off Road did a good job. None of the rims were scratched. They all came really quick. Um, tires look good. They're bundled up nice. Here's the rest of them actually. Basically each tire is bundled up. It's got all the, you know, shipping stuff on it. And they, they were fast. Here's the stars and the lug nuts. Let's get them put on. So I know you can't really tell the difference. Um, in tread depth but if you pick a spot that's nice and flat like here you got about I don't know just over half an inch maybe one or I'm sorry three quarters of an inch roughly I should have a tire gauge I don't Easy as you see on camera, it's about three quarters there. Terabytes. I'm very close to that same. Here's the 32 inch carnivores. So these are down a little. I don't think it's terrible, honestly. Like I said, I think there's about 900 miles on these. Um, and they're still pretty close. Still pretty close to three quarters there. Maybe a little over half for sure um, of an inch. So there's still lots of tread left on these tires. <clears throat> Let's see how many exact miles this thing has on it. So it's got 1,270 miles. So 1,270 miles, I think I want, uh, I'm pretty sure I put these carnivores on this at like 360, I wanna say. So yeah, you're pretty much right there, mile, mileage wise. And it's seen lots of black tops, seen lots of dirt, sand, mud, whatever, it's kind of been everywhere. But um, I'm interested in the measurements because when these are sitting next to each other, they're pretty similar. Size-wise, the 32s especially. The 29s are obviously smaller. Kind of hard to get a, a judge when they're just sitting here. But the 29s are pretty remarkably smaller than the 32s. Which, obviously, you know, three sizes. But as far as height wise, when I put them on the general on the other side, so what I did is I measured, let me get these out of the way. So I measured, I put two of the terabyte, 32 inch terabytes on the other side over here. Mostly to see what they look like because I was excited like a little kid. So I put them on and I measured from the ground 
to the bottom of this rear arm and front arms <clears throat> and it doesn't show a lot of difference I mean like about a half an inch you would think they'd be you know pretty close to the same size obviously every tire is a little bit different but it looks taller on that side it looks like it's leaning one way so I'm interested once I get all four on I'll do some measurements again and see if it's the same but by looking at just the tires they look to be basically the same height or very very close like I said obviously the carnivores have 900 miles or so on them so there's gonna be a little bit of wear there but just looking at them you'd be hard-pressed to say which one's really different. The biggest thing that, that jumps out at me is how much wider the carnivores look. I think it's because the side leg extends so far over to the sidewall. You know, these are kind of tapered more this way. Obviously the tread pattern has got a bigger void, which makes it look a little wider. That's why I cleaned that one tire too, because when they're muddy, you know, the mud kind of goes down the sidewall. So when you're looking at it in your vision, you kind of, see it being a lot wider and I don't think it really is I mean they're supposed to both be 32 by 10 wides but when they're right by each other let's get this one to see if I can line them up by myself here so they're pretty similar by the tape measure, I would say they're probably about a half an inch wider. The carnivores are about a half an inch wider to the outside lug, the actual outside lug, to outside lug. But the terabytes are just a little bit more rounded tire and less flat. Which again, like I said, I love the way the carnivores look. But I wanted to try something different. So we'll give these a try for a little while. And if I'm not in love, then I'll go back to the... 32s and I'll put them on those rims or I'm looking at I said, a couple other different tires and I'll kind of keep you in the dark on those until I can possibly get them but here's where we're at for now let me slide this one up there I'll give you a better idea width wise both good looking tires. Okay, let's get them on, see how wide this thing is. Okay, so right now we're about 11 and a half the inside of that whole tube where the hole's at in the rear A arm. And on this side, with the terabytes. Basically in the exact same 11 and a half inch range. So I just wanted to get a couple of uh, measurements just for kicks. This is the side with the carnies. There's the back corner. Just before where it splits or where it tapers up, I should say. Like 16 and little over a quarter in the back in the front like 17 and a quarter roughly okay let's change these out finally all right so here's the finished product it's a little windy out here so I apologize for that I left the chrome centers for now went all black lug nuts We'll have to see what it looks like after and I'll do some measurements on the width you can obviously tell it's a little wider in the front and back four plus three rims MSA diesels m12 um, should be about two inches wider overall but again these tires are not quite as wide as the carnivores so I'm not really sure if it's gonna be really any wider or not. I mean, the stance is gonna be a little wider, but 
overall, I don't know that it's going to be a whole lot different. Not by much, anyway. But it's definitely got that more racy look to it, for sure. Alright, so here's about as scientific as it gets. We got the level right in the center. So we're just over 30 and three quarters mounted on the general. 32 inch terabytes. So they're they run pretty small. That's at 10 PSI. I'm gonna do these as well. Drag them over here. Okay, here's the carnivores. Thirty-one and three quarters. So, to me, it looks like they're about an inch bigger, and they, these are both at ten psi. Okay, so definitely not the same when you start talking any kind of mud. This is not deep by any chance. We're only in two-wheel drive. Um, you can see it's definitely trenches a little more than what the carnivores did coming through here. And the tires plug up pretty much instantly. So, but I knew that going in. A lot of people said they're not great in the mud. Definitely not great in the mud. Okay, so we just do a little test in the mud. Definitely not a mud tire. Um, places that I could easily go on two-wheel drive. I can't even think about going with these terabytes. So where I couldn't go with the terabytes, I could easily go with the carnivores. All right, guys. So, just took it out, ran it through some mud, ran it up and down the road a few miles. Make sure everything is, uh, suspension's squashed back down so it's the normal ride height and width. So it was at 67 inches before I put the tender springs in, which then sucked it up to like 66 inches because it went up and, you know, brings the wheels in naturally. So 67 is what I was at before with the carnivores. Then the tender springs made it 66. And now we're about 69 roughly again this is just you know not super scientific but it's gonna get you uh, the idea just put a block of drywall on each side and kind of leveled it up that is to the outside of the bulge of the tire again that's the way I always measure everything you can measure it at the hub you can measure it at the wheel but realistically when you got that much bulge sticking out that's where you're going to touch. That's where I want to know how wide it is. So it doesn't do me any good to know that, you know, Claris made this thing 64 inches at the, at the center of the hub because now the wheels are different, suspension set up different, weights different, everything's different on it. So 69 inches roughly is where it falls with a four plus three rim. Factory wheels are six plus one. These are those. So you got one inch on this side, six on this side. 